Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Monday, February 22nd, 2021. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Glad you're joining us here for Talking Fitchburg. Uh, snowy uh, start to today. Yeah, just that we got snow overnight uh, and I uh, had to do some shoveling today. But you can put those away at least uh, temporarily. Looks like uh, there's some small chances for maybe a light, uh, light snow for the couple of days this week. But uh, I'm just going on record saying hopefully we don't have to shovel. <laughs> and then uh, accumulating snow coming back for the weekend. So enjoy the meltdown instead of on our uh, update this morning. Do that roof raking. That's really important now uh, as the melting starts. Because we're going to get that melting, freezing, melting, freezing, melting, freezing. And we all know what that can do to our home. So uh, be ready for that and uh, be ready for uh, melting water to go somewhere, right? All right. Uh, we got uh, information to get to uh, here on the show. We'll talk uh, headlines here in just a minute. Uh, we'll check back in with uh, my friend Andrew Miller at High V, uh, talking about Heart Healthy Month uh, here in February. I'll replay that one for you. And then we'll tell you what's coming up the month of March. Yep, we're coming into March already. We'll tell you what's coming up here at Fitchburg's get to here and we start uh with a fitness challenge you know it's heart month so why not uh, kick off a, a cool fitness challenge be at wisconsin it's the march community fitness challenge let's get active fitchburg approximately 40 communities across wisconsin are hosting first ever community fitness challenge 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 the Be Advice Wisconsin, or Be Active, Be Advice, Be Active Wisconsin Community Challenge invites all community members to participate in a virtual challenge to promote activity, lifestyles, connect people to doors uh, by encouraging use of parks, trail systems, and engaging Wisconsin communities in a friendly, <laughs> friendly folks, keep it friendly here. Winning that community will receive a trophy, and all participants will receive a T-shirt. And uh, it's the same shirt uh, from every uh, participating community. How cool is that? <laughs> well, uh, all you got to do is do 200 minutes uh, a week uh, to help motivate you to give uh, your goal uh, to strive for. There are no requirements, no award given to any personal goals. It's just on your own uh, basis. But, hey, why not do a group challenge? I'm thinking about signing up for this. So you should sign up, too. Uh, and uh, we'll see what community uh, wins uh, at the end. All right, public information meeting happening this week for uh, road uh, uh, improvements on Syene uh, from McKoy Road to Aurora Avenue. Uh, this public meeting is uh, coming up uh, this week on the 25th at 6.30 p.m. Discuss the improvements to Syene from uh, McCoy to uh, Aurora Avenue. Online attendance is encouraged. But you can stop out at the council chambers to register for this. Head to the website, Fitchburg WI. Dot gov. Also, uh, today uh, is there's one day left if you want to get signed up uh, on the, uh, the Healthy Neighborhoods uh, Grant Program. Uh, that uh, is uh, closing out uh, tomorrow. So all interested nonprofit organizations that meet the program eligibility requirements are encouraged to apply. You got to go to the website, FitchfordWI.gov. Check out the application, some of the rules that have changed. All right, an award-winning project. Can you guess what project has an award-winning um, success? Comes from Wisconsin Department of Transportation. You may have seen this, but here it is. Travelers uh, through Dane County experience less congestion and safer traffic flow, <coughs> excuse me, thanks to the completion of the Rona Road uh, project, the project to reconstruction and expanded the Rona Road corridor, which handles 60,000 vehicles per day to provide six lanes of new single point traffic interchange at County at PD. The project also included two new structures, uh, more than uh, 50,000 cubic yards of earthwork, storm sewer, concrete barrier wall, chaining walls and new traffic signals and lighting. Uh, if you haven't been through this, it's awesome. Uh, and the project's being recognized for the excellence in the launch contract at the 2020 Wisconsin DOT Excellence in Construction Awards. You want to read more about it, go to the DOT's website. All right, finally, we got some thank yous. I mean, we should thank everybody who was part of that project. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but this thank you uh, co goes to uh, George and Grandpa getting the shovel out. And cleaning out those fire hydrants. Well, George and Grandpa, thank you so, so very much for uh, cleaning this out. Uh, this is at Rose Common and at Langford Terrace. Your rest is well deserved, young man. I like him. That he's just uh, doing that's what I would do after I shovel. I just lay there and uh, <laughs> I need to get cooled down uh, when I do so. Thank you for doing that. 
fresh snow today, George and Grandpa, so we need your help one more time to get those fire hydrants cleaned out. All right, that does it for our fun. Coming up next, we open up the dye desk. We'll uh, show you, uh, you with the Heart Healthy Month. Before that, here's what's happening for the meetings this upcoming week.